Yo, what's up guys? We're back. Got the tunnel cut. So tunnel is cut. And the only thing I got left to do is take this thing out. And I can finally mock up the drive shaft. So um I finally got the the rear mount bolts. So there's three bolts for the mount. One, two, and the two on this side and then the one on this side. Finally got them from Honda special order, so I had to wait a while for that. But I got that so the transmission is now fully, fully in place. It has its home. When the motor is in here, this is exactly how the tranny is gonna sit. So now I can mock up everything and get ready to basically once I finish cutting that out, I can get back here and we can mock up the rear diff, which is over there, with the dry shaft, which is over here. And we can start lining shit up. We're almost there, guys. The car is almost all wheel drive. We just gotta take that out right there in the middle of the screen right there right behind all those wires we gotta get all that out so i'm gonna work on that right now and i'll be right back okay all right guys here we go tunnel is cut gotta take out the exhaust heat shield and you can see the you can slightly see the tramp case we're gonna start mocking up the dry shaft and start putting the rear diff in place so that's what's next guys once i got all that in place let me actually open this up. I'm going to start making templates for this. And then I'll send the template to my uh, my, my friend Jesse. And he'll probably... Uh, or I'll cut up the pieces actually. So I'll make the templates out of cardboard. And then I'll transfer it into um, thick sheet metal. Start making the templates for this. And then once I have that ready, uh, I'll buy the metal for the rear diff uh, bracket and brace and all that. And once I have everything ready... I'm gonna call my boy Jesse and, and he's able to come down here and weld some stuff up for me and basically the car will be all wheel drive. There they go, my battery's dying. Uh, well, we're almost there guys. We're like on the final freaking stretch of getting the all wheel drive done. Once the whole system is connected and working and everything's welded up, the next focus will be, actually not the motor yet, taking the transmission out and we're probably gonna put an all -wheel, the all wheel drive limited slip in there. And then we're going to work on the rear LSD, uh, we're probably we're going to put a rear LSD in also. And then once I got the whole drivetrain set up the way I want it to be set up for racing, then we'll get into the motor. And then this will be the last step. And then from there, just get the thing ready to turn on, get a new K-Pro and get this thing on the dyno and get this thing tuned. And we should be ready for next year, hopefully. We're almost there, guys. Like, it's basically the final stretch. The only thing holding me back at this point is kind of the money situation. Um, so I, I'm just taking one thing. I'm doing it one thing at a time, you know. So even though, like, that's all that's left, <laughs> I have a lot of things to buy still. So, like, I got, I'm going to have to get a cage. I'm going to get new rotors. I actually need a new rear caliper. There are things that need to get done. I'm getting new brake pads in the back also. I just I want to get the, the essentials done before I actually build the motor because... Once I build the motor, I'm gonna wanna turn this thing on and start getting it tuned. And I don't want to tune this unless everything on the car is. Sorry about that, the video went out. <laughs> I ran out of storage. Um, Yeah, I just wanna make sure everything in the car is basically the way I want it to be for when I get the car tuned. All right, so I'm gonna start clearing out the bottom of the car a little bit, make some space, take the heat shield out. I'm gonna start mocking up that dry shaft and I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you what that looks like once I am done. Hope you guys are excited as I am, because I am super excited. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys. Oh, the light is there. Sorry about that. But they got the heat shield out of the way, and the tunnel is fully cut. Everything is ready for the dry shaft. All right. Super excited, guys. So check this out. There you go. All right, so I might have to cut up higher here. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to wait until the rear starts getting mocked up before I cut anymore. But it looks like I should be okay. If I have to cut up that extra inch, I will. All right, guys, so. Dry shot going up now, guys. Can't wait, this is super exciting, guys. Hope you're excited as I am. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Dry shot is in place. And next episode we'll start mocking up the rear diff 
cutting out the templates, showing you the route that I'm going to take and how I'm going to get it all welded up. Guys, this is basically it. We're in the final stretch. Everything. So we just got to make a support brace. So in the middle of the carrier bearing. And we got to create the rear diff mount back here. And the RSX will officially be all wheel drive. And the only other thing I'm basically working on at this point is the normal K series stuff, which is the transmission. Oh, the, oh sorry, the transmission over here and the motor over here. So we're there. We're almost there, guys. This is the last step is just the fabrications, the fabrication needed to get the swap done. Um, don't, don't I won't forget about redoing the e-brake. Our whole e-brake setup is right here. That's basically the RSX components. When we make the tunnel, we're gonna remount it on that on the new tunnel. So, hey guys, this is it. We're almost there, and I hope you're excited. All right, guys. Well, till next time. Peace.